There's multiple purposes for Century Eagle. The first one being that it's a large force exercise where we bring different aircraft from around the country, from different units and different branches of service to fly and fight together and, and get that different kind of training that we don't have every day. Additionally, we do an open house where we invite the public in to come see what it is that we do every day and let them have a first front row seat to the, uh, to the action. Uh, Colonel Edwards, who just shut down in that airplane over there, we were walking out here the other day to look at our flight line, and as we looked at it, looked at all this air power we have over here on this ramp, uh, an airplane flew over the top and he said, do you stop still and look up and just say, I can't believe we do that? Uh, we've known each other since we were 18th at the Air Force Academy, and we both agree that as we look up and watch airplanes fly over, I still can't believe I do it. It's amazing. Our instructor pilots are, are training America's uh, next generation of air superiority. We train F-15C pilots to get ready to go out there and, and accomplish air superiority for the nation. And so when we fight uh, year in and year out with our students and not that ma many dissimilar air combat training opportunities, to bring this wide array of, of fighters, the, the wide array of capabilities, multiple components, multiple services um, in, onto our ramp and then fight and integrate, it's an unbelievable. So we're integrating fifth generation, we call the Super Hornet about a four and a half generation, it's in between fourth and fifth gen, and then you've got our fourth generation F-15s and F-16s, and we're working together, they're planning together uh, and fighting together on the air, in the airspace to practice what we would do together in a combat zone. So to be able to do that over the skies of Southern Oregon in peacetime is, is invaluable. Our, our flight uh, our flying airspaces are another huge uh, player as to why we're so successful is, and it's just it's huge for our ability to not only meet our current mission but also to, to look at future missions. So just to our southeast, literally behind my shoulder about 40 miles is the Goose airspace which uh, goes from southern Oregon into northern uh, Nevada and that is where we do a lot of our dog fighting and our two against one, so our close range type of stuff. It's a smaller airspace but it's right next to home which is great for uh, getting as much uh, fight as we can out of the gas that we have in the tanks. Uh, then out to the east about 100 miles we have a very long uh, air to air airspace uh, that's about 120 miles long by about 40 to 50 miles wide and that's where we do our predominant long range intercept which is what the F-15 was built for. Uh, the F-15 is built around the radar and that's where we go practice those skills. And in between here and there is a tanker track. Uh, the tanker support we have is awesome. We have 200 tanker events a year and I don't know of another unit in the country that gets that much tanker support. Uh, we've got the two tankers here today that are uh, flying with us throughout Century Eagle but routinely we'll get two to three tankers in a week uh, and our students and our instructor pilots benefit certainly from that training uh, experience. So the airspace, the, uh, the partnerships with the tanker communities, it's all beneficial.